Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to today's OU Live. Yes, that's right. You heard that right. The thumbnail is very misleading. Today is going to be an OU Live. Our week one match for the NBA ended up being a forfeit because my opponent never responded to me and uh, we're more than likely going to be looking for a new coach for the Nebraska Natus. But uh, let's not let the team go to waste. I'm going to be using the team that we built on the OU ladder because it's actually pretty viable for the OU ladder and it can function uh, relatively well. Hydreigon not having a dragon move is kind of deterring, uh, as well as Mamoswine not having a ground move. Actually, you know what? I might just change that up. Uh, let me see. Where's my team? We're going to add Earthquake instead of Superpower on Mamoswine. Uh, we're going to keep the rest of the sets, but uh, that's about it. That's the only thing I'm going to change. Everything else is pretty solid. Uh, team gets worn down very quickly, seeing as we have uh, two to three life, three life orb users. So we've got to be very careful with hazards and things like that. Got to make sure that they don't go up. But other than that, uh, I've tested it a couple of times. By the way, huge shout out to Dom's Game Room for this awesome background. Just going to go back home for a second, if you guys can see. This is so nice, and uh, I thank you so much, man, once again for making this for me. Uh, I cannot express, uh, express how much... Uh, how much happiness you have brought to this channel and to me. So uh, thanks again. This is this is just awesome. Uh, anyway, we're playing Storm Zone. Storm Zone is a player that I've played multiple times on the ladder. Uh, we'll kind of go 50-50 back and back with him. He's a very, very solid player. And while his team might not look standard, it's very threatening. Uh, I haven't played this specific team yet, but he doesn't know what kind of heat we're packing on our Pokemon. So hopefully that catches him off guard. I'm probably just going to uh, lead with Slowbro here. It has a very solid matchup against the majority of his team as it is Assault Vested. And we will be able to uh, to hit anything pretty much hard. So I'm uh, going to lead with Slowbro here as he leads with Deancey. Uh, I can pretty much just throw off a Scald right here. He's going to probably want to get up his Mega Evolution and, uh, and Protect uh, just to have that speed. And then more than likely switch out into Celebi. Uh, in which case I could probably pull a double into our Scizor and then just U-turn out and uh, put a little bit of pressure on him so uh, we'll see what he wants to do I'm gonna start the timer as we're not in a league match uh, we should be right now but we're not so uh, also guys I wanted to apologize for uh, the delay on the team builder for the NBA and the the battle of course which is never gonna go up but uh, we will have a battle next week everybody else in the league is active especially Colton very good uh, very great guy and um, we are gonna be battling so I've, I've already started prepping a little bit for him looking at his team and stuff so uh, so the Scald is obviously going to fail right there. Celebi is a very likely switch. I'm going to switch directly into my Scizor, as Tentacruel actually decides to come out. Very interesting option. Uh, we are very speedy, uh, so we might outspeed a... Well, maybe not. Um, I was going to say we might outspeed a min-speed uh, min Tentacruel, if that's what he is, but we're more than likely not going to be able to do that. So I'm just going to U-turn. Uh, we are tw 221, we should be 241, we're going to get a, t a 20 boost in speed when we Mega Evolve, but that's not going to go through on the first turn, so uh, very nice switch by, by my opponent, choosing the middle ground and going into Tentacruel, as I could not touch that either. Well, my opponent doesn't know that I can actually touch it, but I guess he expected me to never click Psychic, because uh, Celebi was the most obvious switch, so uh, definitely a uh, very good play. Uh, do I even have Psychic? I have Focus Blast, Flamethrower, Grass Knot. Yeah, I don't have Psychic Stab on my Slowbro, so... Uh, I don't know if Storm Zone watches my videos and he saw the Team Builder, but... Uh, it'd be very interesting if he did. We still don't have nicknames on these Pokemon guys, so uh, again, keep commenting. Let me know what you guys want to see as uh, nicknames on these Pokemon. I'm leaving it up to you guys, the subscribers. Uh, so just hit me up, Twitter, Facebook, they're always in the description. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you want uh, these Pokemon to be named. The other five Pokemon that are on our team are, of course, in the draft review, so you gotta go uh, check that out uh, a little bit earlier in the channel if you hit up the playlist. I'll try to link the playlist as well in the description for the NBA, and uh, hopefully that'll help you guys out a little bit. So right here I'm gonna go into Thunderous. Thunderous pretty much pressures my opponent's entire team. Nothing really wants to come in on this. Uh, and we can actually predict the uh, the Hippowdon to want to come in and go for a Grass Knot if we choose to do so. Uh, Celebi is also a very good switch in though, so I think I'd rather just throw off a Thunderbolt. My opponent does choose to go into the Hippowdon. I'm going to hit this thing up with a Grass Knot. He shouldn't see this coming. He, uh, he knows of my existence, so... 
He knows that I'm pr a pretty good player and that I wouldn't just T-bolt there for no reason. The Hippowdon does not take two Grass Knots. I don't even know if it takes one, to be honest. This is coming off a 349 Special Attack Life Orb, and Hippowdon is very heavy, so this might just straight up Oko. We'll see. No, it doesn't. It comes very close, though, so... Uh, my opponent's actually going to throw off a Toxic right there. That's not going to happen. And uh, Hidden Power Ice should be able to finish this thing off right here. And uh, my opponent's going to let his Hippowdon go down, which is actually pretty huge for the rest of the team. Uh, the Toxic Spike is going to get a little bit annoying. Uh, my opponent chooses to go into Deancey um, after seeing the Grass Knot, which is very interesting because I could very easily be outspeeding the Deancey. I'm, I'm starting to get a really good feeling that my opponent knows exactly what my team is, but... Um, I think my best switch here is always Scizor. Uh, if my opponent HP fires right here, that's very good, but... Uh, I think it's just the safest option. Uh, goes for a Diamond Storm, mid-ground play once again, defense goes up. Uh, I am just going to Bullet Punch right here, I can't risk this thing staying in on me while I U-turn, so I'm just going to throw off a Bullet right here. Hopefully the Skarmory is not Rocky Helmet, that would suck, but uh, Bullet Punch from uh, Technician, Adamant, 438 attack, Scizor should more than easily take out this Deancey, even, if, even with the defense boost, so my opponent's going to switch into Skarmory, good play. Let's see what kind of item it's holding, it is Rocky Helmet, so we're going to have to get out of here. Uh, without actually going for U-turn because I can't risk this thing getting any weak uh, any weaker uh, We can pretty safely go into Hydreigon here uh, And then probably throw out a flamethrower or something of the sort uh, The problem is that toxic spike is extremely difficult for the rest of my team to handle So I'm, I'm gonna try to pivot between my Pokemon that are off the ground right here My opponent's gonna throw down another layer right there with a spike and we can do one of two things. Uh, I think Flamethrower is probably the best option. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw out the Flamethrower because I'm pretty sure if he spit F Skarmory, Dark Pulse won't kill. Uh, Flamethrower, however, will be able to get the knockout right there. Hydreigon is not running max speed, I do not believe. Uh, 319, nope. So we're going to have to deal with a Moonblast right here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult for Slowbro to take. I know it still takes about 40 even with the Assault Vest. So this is going to be a little problematic. Uh, especially now that that spike is up, it's going to be even harder to switch into uh, to our Scizor because it has no recovery on it. So I'm going to have to play this end game very, very diligently. Let's see. Uh, I'll go into Slowbro here. I think it's just the best play. Uh, I'll take the Moonblast, and uh, as you can see, that does 42%, so that's quite a bit. Uh, I can pivot out into something else here, but then Slowbro's not really doing anything, so I'm just going to throw out a Scald, uh, and then we're going to go right back into Scizor, I believe, is my play. Um, as well, Mamoswine's not bad, because it threatens this thing out, and I can also get up rocks on him, potentially. Um, he might want to protect on the first turn to see what I'm going to do and get around a Poison off. But I'm just going to go into Scizor here. Scizor is the best play overall, I think, personally. And, um, I mean, at this point we might be faster than the Tentacruel, so I'm just going to throw off a Bullet Punch right here. Uh, he chooses to go into Thunderous, so good play. That's going to resist that. He is uh, lefties as well. So, ooh, I'm running out of plays here. Um, Mamoswine, no priority, of course. That sucks. Uh, Tyrantrum can't take an HP Ice, neither can Hydreigon. Not very well, anyway. And definitely not after, uh... Okay, I have to keep this thing alive no matter what, though. It definitely has to stay alive because it outspeeds Celebi. Um, normal, re regular defensive Celebi. It outspeeds by one point. Um, it also knocks out the Deancey, so I absolutely need to keep this thing alive. So, I think Mamoswine is my play every day of the week. Yeah. Mamoswine's just... Ugh, Mamoswine's just so strong against the rest of his team, though. That's the thing. I don't want to sack it right here. All right, what does Tyrantrum do? It's not setting up on anything, let's be honest. Um, Celebi damages it so much, so does uh, so does Tentacruel. So I think um, I think Tyrantrum is going to be our sack here. We'll go into that, and uh, we'll get it poisoned. Not a big deal. He's going to go for HP Ice. Uh, no, it's not HP Ice. Okay, interesting. I don't know what that was. Uh, probably HP Flying. Stab, yeah, that could be it. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go for a DD here, seeing as he doesn't seem to have coverage for us. He's going to switch into Tentacruel, so we're a plus one now, and uh, this head smash is going to hurt <laughs> a lot. Uh, it's going to do a tremendous amount. If we land it, which we don't, unfortunately, he's going to go for a Scald, and that is going to be able to take us out. That kind of telegraphs to me that he's offensive Tentacruel. Um, so is Thunderous my play? That is the question. 
Mamoswine is also a pretty good play. I'll be able to get up rocks and potentially finish this game off with our Scizor, uh, should those rocks stay up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Mamoswine. And um, we are 241 speed, which I don't think is outspeeding this thing, but I don't think a Scald from this range might not knock uh, might not knock us out. So I'm going to get up rocks right here. My opponent is just going to Scald this turn and knock us out with a crit. Okay, so we were faster with Mamoswine, which means we're also faster with Scizor, which is good. So if we weaken this thing, uh, we could potentially just straight up win this game. Um, Hydreigon is hard for my opponent to switch into. Uh, so is Thunderous, though. And I think Thunderous is definitely the play here because it can actually knock this thing out. And uh, I think I just Thunderbolt here. And my opponent finally chooses to go into Celebi after all this time. Uh, is going to take that Thunderbolt relatively well, of course. And uh, Thunder Wave might be coming my way on the switch to Hydreigon, but I really cannot stay in against this thing because I can't touch it, uh, even with HP Ice. My opponent chooses to go for Psychic, which is awesome. Uh, and we are able to be immune to that. Um... And he did see the Life Orb, so he knows that we're not Scarfed or anything like that. But I think Dark Pulse is just my all-around best play. My opponent chooses to switch into Thunderous, which is one of the only things that could actually survive Scizor's hits. So that's uh, that's really good. As long as we get a knockout on the... Uh, well, a lot of damage off on the Tentacruel, we should be good to go. My opponent goes into Deancey, so I'm pretty much forced to, uh, to stay in here. I can't really switch out. My opponent goes for a Moonblast, so that's going to knock us out. And now, this is going to be Scizor's pretty much last stand right here. I have to play off of a 50-50 right here. Basically, my opponent can no longer switch into Thunderous, um, granting that it can knock out the uh, the Deancey after Rocks at this point, at the range it's at. It can also knock out the Tentacruel, and two HP Ices will be able to take out the Celebi. So I have to go for a U-turn right here, as my opponent actually chooses to go for Earth Power, so great play. I uh, really wasn't expecting that. Uh, Bullet Punch would have taken this thing out, and then Thunderous would have finished off the game, but uh, that is what it is, and uh, we're going to have to Grass Knot here, hoping that he's slower, but he is not. And that's going to be the first game, so uh, congrats to Stor Storm Zone for winning. I didn't uh, hit GG there, I should have. Uh, it was a very good game, actually. But uh, next up is this uh, this annoying-looking team with a Jirachi on it. <laughs> it can pretty much body our entire team. Uh, very, very scary, but he's also got a Magnus Zone to back it up to Trap Scizor. So, very, uh, not a, not a good time for us. Anyway, uh, we outspeed, uh, Spec Scizor with our, um, with our, uh, with Specs Magnus Zone, excuse me, with our Scizor, so that's not too bad. I'm actually going to leave Mamoswine right here as my opponent chooses to lead with Jirachi, so good lead on his part. Uh, I'm just going to switch into Slowbro, I do not want to get Iron Head flinched. Um, as my opponent chooses to go for U-turn, so good play, alright. I could have gotten up rocks right there, but that's fine. As, um... Magnazone's looking like a very good switch right now. I might actually just stay in to test if he's Specs or Scarfed, to be honest, uh, because I know that Scarf Thunderbolt does not take us out, whereas Specs does. Uh, Scarf does, like, 50% to an AV, uh, an AV Slowbro, so... Should be good to go. Um, the coverage that we have on Slowbro is actually really, really good this game. Flamethrower for Jirachi, uh, for Magnazone, and also the Tangrowth, so... Chooses to go into Magnazone. Now, um, I could easily switch into Mamoswine here, and he, he probably knows that, so... I think I'm just going to throw off a Flamethrower right here. As he does go for the Flash Cannon, that does absolutely nothing. We're going to hit him with a Flamethrower and do about half, so that's really good. And uh, now I can even test if he's choiced or not. I'm going to switch into Mamoswine right here, as my opponent is forced to switch as well. Going to go into Latios, and I don't think Latios can take us out with anything, honestly. Um... But, uh, yeah, there is the threat of Draco. That's always a thing, right? Uh, I'm just gonna switch into Scizor, actually. Scizor's a good mid-ground play, and we'll be able to U-turn on anything uh, and get some uh, some good damage off. My opponent goes for Surf, actually. Wow, that did a lot. Whoa. Yeah, that would have definitely taken us out. That's about as strong as Draco, though. They do about the same amount of damage, so uh, not a big deal. I'm actually gonna switch into Slowbro here as a pivot. That's uh, pretty good. And uh, be able to uh, eat up this Draco. Does about uh, how much did that do? I'll move this over 60%. So we should be able, we should be good to live the next one, and we'll be able to throw out a scald right here. Actually, uh, next Draco comes in, does a lot of damage once again, but now uh, scald potential burn, and we do not get it. That's fine though because my opponent is extremely weak now. I'm going to switch out into Mamoswine because now they, he, my opponent can definitely not touch me as he goes for another Draco. Surf is going to do a very minimal amount and we'll be able to just set up rocks right here. If my opponent wants to defog afterwards, I'll be able to knock out this Latios with a freeze dry. And uh, actually chooses to switch out, so good play. 
Gonna get up the rocks and, uh, now do I just want to freeze dry this thing? Uh, not really. Going to switch into Hydreigon right here. It's the best all-around switch. Covers the knockoff, covers the earthquake, covers the grass move. Not the sleep powder, but pretty much everything else. Uh, Jirachi chooses to come in, and I'm pretty convinced this thing is scarfed at this point. Uh, but I don't have anything with recovery other than Slowbro on it, and I can't really switch that in on a U-turn right now. Uh, I know it didn't do much before on the first turn. It did 23.9, but uh, if my opponent U-turns into pretty much anything at this point, uh, Dark Pulse is going to hurt. So I'm going to take the damage on Hydreigon, and I'm just going to roll with it. I hope he goes Magnezone. That would be great to get that thing out of the way, start bullet punching everything, and uh, bug biting the Tangrowth, or U-turning on it, depending on what I want to do. Latios comes in to be sacked, gonna hit him with the Dark Pulse, get rid of that thing. So the only potential defogger is now gone, rocks are here to stay, which is awesome. My opponent does have a Regenerator Pokemon, but that's not really gonna matter in the face of a Dragon Dancing Tyrantrum. So, Jirachi does come back in. I'm fully expecting my opponent to just want to U-turn again. So I'm going to switch, uh, I think Slowbro is just the safest play to be honest. Uh, covers all bases, my opponent can't knock me out with the U-turn, not even a crit and uh, we'll be able to switch right back out depending on what my opponent goes into. I'm fully expecting Magnezone to want to come in here, and uh, as it does, and I've conditioned my opponent to want to go for the electric move at this point, so I'm just going to switch into um, into our Mamoswine, because as you can see from the flash cannon damage before, he actually wouldn't take us out. Only did 14%. Opponent goes for Volt Switch, awesome, and uh, we can pretty much, we can either pivot here into something else, uh, and threaten something. I could actually switch in my Scizor on anything. Um, which I think might actually be my play. Looking at it. Yeah, I'm going to switch Scizor in here on the Tangrowth. There we go. Because that was pretty much his only switch to Mamoswine at this point. Like, Mamoswine destroyed everything, so. Just going to go for the Bug Bite here. Should do a tremendous amount to anything that wants to come in. Uh, Deancey's not taking it well. Neither is Dragonite because it loses its scale. Uh, neither is Jirachi, so we'll be able to not knock out this Tangrowth, actually. It does live on 18. He misses his Sleep Powder, though, which is pretty huge. Uh, and the Tangrowth is Rocky Helmet, so what I'm going to do here is U-turn, uh, expecting a switch for him to conserve the Regenerator, uh, the health from Regenerator, and uh, we'll be able to get off a pretty big U-turn here. He actually decides to sack his Tangrowth. We still have our uh, Scissor Alive, though, so that's very good. My opponent's uh, Jirachi is still a threat, however. So I'm going to have to be careful with that. I'm going to go into Slowbro here. Again, it covers all bases. I can live Deancey's Moonblast at this range. Unless, of course, it's Modest, which we will be able to find out from the damage. Deancey does come in. And uh, I think I'm just going to throw off a Scald, honestly. Is that my play? Might be. Hydreigon's pretty good here, too. I like that. I kind of need to keep Slowbro just for the Rachi. That's the thing. I need it for the Rachi. So, hmm. Yeah, Hydreigon's my sack. I'm gonna keep this thing's health intact. And uh, we were able to get the Regenerator right there, which is really nice. Hydreigon is sacked, and now we can go into our Scizor. Um, I actually wanna do something really quickly, guys. I just want to calc the damage on Slowbro from before. For, for an AV Slowbro, how much Magnezone is supposed to do to it, and we will be able to scout if it is Scarfed or Specs um, from the damage. So Magnezone, oh, you choice Scarf, let's say, against our Slowbro. Do we have our Slowbro set here? No, we do not. Uh, OU Defensive, but given an Assault Vest is basically what it is. Assault Vest. Flash Cannon is supposed to do about that, so it's actually it does look like it's Scarfed. Um, which means it will be able to outspeed our Scizor. So I have to be very careful about how I choose to play that. Um, alternatively, I don't really have an alternative play, to be honest. So, it's gonna go into Scizor right here. And I may just have to superpower right off the bat. Um, because Magnezone pretty much just comes in and messes me up. So, just gonna go for the superpower. My opponent is going to protect. And, um, I'm gonna bullet punch this time. He's not going to switch into Magnezone. If anything, he's going to Arachi to be able to take this, or even Dragonite. Uh, we'll see, though. Does go into Arachi, okay. Uh, luckily, that's not something that traps us, so we're able to get off a nice chunk on that. 21%. The rocks are whittling this thing down. I'm going to switch into Slowbro on this turn, 
and uh, we'll be able to take any move this thing wants to go for. It is going to go for a U-turn once again. I'm assuming Deancey's going to want to come back in here or Magnazone, but my, ma my Mamoswine is still alive. So it becomes a 50-50 at that point. And alternatively, I could also switch into Thunderous because Thunderous doesn't do too much this game. Nothing that Mamoswine doesn't do, so... Uh, looking, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, especially that we're weakening this Rachi gradually. Very, very nice. Uh, didn't make them in ground play. It was very good on my opponent's part going into Rachi over Magnazone. Because had I superpowered again, that would be pretty much dead. Deancey does come in. Again, we know that we do not go down to this. But I absolutely need Slowbro healthy for the Jirachi. So I'm going to have to make a decision here on, again, who to sack. And I think that might have to be Thunderous. Um, because we already covered the fact that Thunderous uh, doesn't do anything that Mamoswine uh, does. Well, it does the same things that Mamoswine does this game, so... I uh, might also be Tyrantrum. Uh, looking at the matchup, we do outspeed the Magnazone at plus one. We also outspeed the Deancey, uh, but we do not outspeed the Jirachi. So, leaving Tyrantrum alive is pretty much useless at this point. I am just going to go into it, and uh, my opponent's going to Moonblast. It's going to knock us out. We're going to go into, uh, into Scizor right here. My opponent is more than likely just going to protect this turn, and I'm just going to throw off a bullet punch. And if he goes into Magnazone, he goes into Magnazone. There's absolutely nothing I can do about that. And uh, that'll be the end of Scizor at that point. I am just going to go for the bullet punch, and I'm going to go for the bullet punch again. I'm not going to change up moves. I'm going to stick with it. And uh, again, my opponent knows that I have superpower, so it's extremely dangerous to just switch into Magnazone. If he loses his Magnazone, he loses the game. So he does choose to make that play, though. This is going to be quad resisted. We already know this thing is scarfed, so it is definitely taking us out right here. And uh, we will be able to go for the superpower. It won't go off, obviously, because the Volt Switch is going to come through. But now this Magnazone is sitting at 17% when it comes back in, which is very nice. Knowing that it's scarfed means that it cannot take out Slowbro from full. And Slowbro pretty much just wins us this game. Uh, I mean, Dragonite is still something that we have to deal with, but we have something to deal with it, so. I'm just gonna go into Bro here, and, uh, my opponent can start whittling me down with Iron Heads. and try, anyway. I was just gonna go for a U-turn. Good play. Uh, Magnazone does not live a Scald at the range it's at, I believe. Dragonite risks getting burned right here, which is very nice. Uh, we'll see if we get that. We do not. Okay. And now I have to make a decision of whether I want to stay in or switch out on this thing. Uh, and I think I'm just going to Scald again, honestly. My opponent's going to go for an Outrage. It's not going to be able to take us out. Again, though, I need this Slowbro to be able to win the game. So I have to sack something once again. And that something is probably going to be... Well, Mamoswine has okay defense. Uh, if Slowbro just took 37 from that, uh, Mamoswine has about half its defense. So Mamoswine should be able to live, which is actually nice. Uh, we'll be able to keep our Thunderous. Do we really want to keep Thunderous, though? What does Thunderous do for us? Um, not much, because it's outsped by the rest of my opponent's team. So Mamoswine's bulk is a little more important than Thunderous's life right here. Sorry, Thunderous. Gotta let you go, buddy. And uh, my opponent does get the confusion. He is Lum, though. He is Lum. So we're gonna have to go to Mamoswine. We're gonna have to play some mind games here on what we're going for. Uh, I think my play is just to freeze-dry every time, honestly. There's nothing else I can do. I gotta, I gotta just go for it. And if my opponent switches into Rachi or anything like that, then I have to live with that. But Dragonite comes in back in very, very weak. So uh, Magnazone is actually going to come in and we are going to freeze dry this thing and be able to knock it out, which is awesome. That's great. Okay. So we still have a shot here. Should my opponent go into Rachi? I think my only play is to click freeze dry because they're more than likely going to U-turn, not allowing Slowbro to come back in and go for a Scald for free. And... Um, yeah, so I think I just have to freeze dry at that point and hope he goes into uh, Dragonite after that, which is the only thing that Slowbro can't Oko, so uh, let's go for it. Let's go for the freeze dry. I very much doubt the Iron Head is coming. If it does, I also think it doesn't knock us out, so my opponent is going to go for a U-turn. Let's see what he goes into. Goes into Dragonite, so we're going to be able to take that out with a freeze dry right here. And it all comes down to how many times the Jirachi flinches us, because we can take it out with a flamethrower at the range it's at. We can also take out Deancey with a Scald at the range it's at. So it's all going to come down to this right here. Deancey comes in. Not sure if it can knock me out or not. It probably can with the amount of investment that we have. Uh, Slowbro's at 61. No, that's bad. Uh, Should have got it a little bit more health. 
Gonna go for an Earthquake. Moonblast is going to be able to knock us out, and now we have to see how much it actually does to Slowbro on this turn. Just gonna go for a Scald on my opponent's Moonblast. We are gonna be able to live this, and um, Jirachi pretty much has to go for U-Turn right here. However, however, U-Turn I think is a roll. It did 22. How much did it do before that? Uh, to Slowbro. 24. Okay. So I think it's a roll in his favor, looking at it. And, uh... I mean, it's not a move that flinches, which is nice. I w just wish I had, like, 10 more percent on this slow bro right now. Ah, oh, that would have been perfect. We would have pulled out a win with on this game. But uh, I'm using a very non-standard team, guys, as you can see. Unfortunately, we, we do go down in that one. So that's two losses. Let's try to redeem ourselves and get one win at the very least. And uh, those are two actually very long games. Very nice games, but very long. Uh, my opponent does have a Volcarona, which we handle pretty well on this team. Uh, we do have a Mamoswine. We do have a... Uh, a Tyrantrum, which can pretty much smash through it. A uh, very annoying wall core with Hippowdon and uh, Ferrothorn, as well as Clefable. I'm going to have to watch out for that. I think my number one lead here is actually probably Hydreigon. Because Hydreigon deals with like four out of six. Yeah, I'm going to lead with Hydreigon. Uh, as my opponent leads with Clefable, so that's not one of the six, obviously. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Uh, we might have to get Thunder Waved here. I'm going to go into uh, Thunderous, actually, to be able to uh, eat up this Thunder Wave. There we go. And uh, we are Life Orb. We are not modest. We are uh, timid, but I'm just going to throw off this T-Bolt right here. See what my opponent wants to do. Wow, that's huge damage. That's insane. Opponent goes for a Moon Blast. And question is... Uh, oh, he gets a special attack drop. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> so we won't be able to knock out this Clefable now. So what I'm gonna do is go into Mamoswine. I uh, gotta get up rocks. My opponent actually switches in a hippo. Okay, that's great for us actually. Uh, he's gonna get up rocks, isn't he? Uh, we gotta go for the freeze dry, I think. Um, yeah, we're gonna go for freeze dry. Hope for a freeze. That's a crit. Wow. And um, yeah, stealth rocks are definitely going up, but we can get ours up as well. He knows he can't stay in on, a, on another freeze dry. He'll go straight down. He knows he can't heal either. Uh, I do go for the Stealth Rocks. <laughs> this is the moment where having superpower over Earthquake would have been perfect. But that's not the case. So I think I have to go straight in high Dragon on this thing. Uh, he could very well Gyro Ball. He does. All right. Uh, we're going to go very low thanks to the sand damage. However, we do have Flamethrower. Uh, we also have Roost. We also have Roost. We could predict a switch and go for Roost. But I'm just going to throw her. That's fine. Goes into Starmie. All right. Uh, well, if you want to spin, you're going to go down. So I'm uh, just going to throw off a Dark Pulse right here. My opponent can spin freely, but there's nothing I can do about that. I don't have a Ghost type on the team. Going to have to take it. And uh, hopefully he does spin because that will definitely not knock us out. We'll be able to get rid of Starmie right here. Awesome. Okay. So spinning was a priority for my opponent, obviously. Great thing here is that Hydreigon actually goes down to the Life Orb. So now we can play some mind games on what we're going into. Slowbro's pretty good, because it does get the Scald off on three members, as well as having Flamethrower for the Ferrothorn. I don't think Clefable's coming in, because I have too many things that threaten it immediately. So I think I am going to go Slowbro as my opponent goes Aerodactyl, which is awesome. We are going to be able to Scald very freely here. Uh, normally Slowbro can't do anything to Ferrothorn, but in this case we do have the Flamethrower, so if this burns, which it does not, uh, we should still be able to Flamethrower this thing and knock it uh, down to 41%, which is great. My opponent goes for Thunder Wave. It's not gonna really matter on Slowbro unless I get a lot of hacks coming my way, but uh, I am just gonna throw out a Scald right here, trying to catch either the Hippowdon or the Volcarona coming in, or even the Clefable, which is fine. Uh, we do get a very nice Scald off. My opponent is gonna be able to heal off any and all damage coming their way this turn. So, how do I take advantage of that? I think I go back into Mamoswine and set back up rocks on this thing. My opponent is just going to Thunder Wave once again. Awesome. So that means free rocks for us. Uh, he can obviously Moonblast us, but we need rocks up for the Volcarona and for the uh, for the Aerodactyl. So po opponent goes for Soft Boiled. All right. Let's see how much a max attack Adamant, well, not Adamant, we're naughty, but uh, Earthquake with Life Orb does to a Clefable. Let's just test it out. 59%, guys. That's amazing on Clefable. That's so good. All right, so my opponent's insisting on just uh, soft boiling up, which is fine. That's okay. I'm just gonna go into uh, Scizor right here, and uh, on the next soft boiled, obviously. There we go. And 
Volcarona doesn't enjoy coming in on rocks, so I'm pretty free to fire off a bullet punch right here on this thing and just weaken it immensely, bring it down to 41%. He can obviously flamethrower, okay, so he has that, interesting. Uh, but now, now our Mammoth Swine threatens it. So we'll go into that again, and uh, I think just Earthquake is fine. It should be able to knock out the uh, two-hit KO, the Ferrothorn, after rocks. So we'll just go for Quake. Obviously, I have a hard time dealing with this, but Slowbro once again can just come through and win it for us in the end. I uh, just have to avoid getting knocked out by a bug buzz from Volcarona. Uh, the Earthquake is actually going to Oko the Ferrothorn, which is pretty crazy. Um, again, nothing is enjoying coming in here. Volcarona comes in. It's obviously going to... It could quiver. He could very well quiver right here. You know what? Let's go for Edge. Goes for the Giga Drain. That's fine. You know what? At this point, okay, I think we're going to get our sweep right here. We're going to go for the Dragon Dance on this thing. It can definitely Giga Drain us, but if he lets me Dragon Dance for free, then I just win. I have to land two Head Smashes, or three Head Smashes for that matter, but we can just win this game if, um, if he allows me to do this. He does Quiver up. I don't think a Giga Drain at plus one from Volcarona takes us out. We're going to find out anyway, but I just want to calc it anyway, just for future reference. Uh, just to find out how much what the role is, Tyrantrum, uh, OU, OU Dragon Dance, um, Giga Drain does 42. That's unboosted at plus one. He definitely cannot take us out, and we can potentially knock out the rest of his team. As long as we do not get burned right here, we should be good to go. I'm just going to head smash. He's going to Giga Drain, and he crits us. All right. So that's been the story of uh, pretty much everything that I've been doing so far. Just gonna forfeit this game guys. Sorry for all the losses, but uh, again, I just wanted to make up for not having a battle today uh, If you guys watched this far kudos to you because again the, the thumbnail was completely misleading, but uh, That's gonna do it for this team. Luckily. It wasn't designed to take on the OU ladder um, <laughs> Because it definitely doesn't do it as well as I thought it did uh, If you guys enjoyed though hit that like button down below if you've gotten this far once again subscribe if you haven't already uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of the team. If you're excited for the uh, for the next battles coming up in the NBA, we will be having the rest of our battles. Uh, it looks like if anything happens with any other coach, uh, we're looking to replace people. So um, I don't know if you if you're a friend of anybody in the NBA, uh, then definitely hit us up, and we'll see if uh, we can get a we can get a word in for you. But uh, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all your support. Catch you guys later. Ciao.